In the simplest terms, hosting gives your WordPress website a home. It allots the space on a server where all your website's information can be stored, managed, and transferred from. However, there are different types of hosting options. And different hosting options are ideal for different types of websites. The type of hosting you choose can affect your website's performance, security, scalability, and management. This is why it's important to learn about the different types of hosting options before choosing the right one for you. So here's everything you need to know about hosting options for WordPress. If this video ends up being useful to you, please consider subscribing to our channel for more WordPress and WooCommerce related topics. In a shared hosting option, a single server hosts multiple websites. Your website will be sharing the server resources with other sites. It's like renting a room in a house with other people. You have your own room but you and your housemates share the resources like electricity, water, and the living room. You should go for a shared hosting option if you're a beginner or have a small website. If you want an easy setup process without too much technical knowledge. If you're on a tight budget or don't want to spend too much on your website. If you're expecting less than 20,000 visits per month. However, the shared hosting option does have its own drawbacks. Your website will have slightly slower loading times and lower uptime rates. A spike in other websites on the shared server can slow down your website. Your website won't be able to handle huge variations in traffic. And you can't configure the server according to your needs. Shared hosting options are usually used by portfolio websites, blogs, and small business websites that don't expect a lot of traffic. Hostinger, Bluehost, and A2 Hosting are great shared hosting providers that are worth trying out. In a dedicated hosting option, an entire server is dedicated to your website. Your website can take advantage of the full potential of the server and use all of its resources. It's like owning a house of your own. You can paint it, renovate it, and use it however you want. You should go for a dedicated hosting option if your website has high volumes of traffic, upwards of 100,000 visits a month. If your website stores sensitive data like financial information and you want the highest level of security. If you want complete technical control over the configuration and operation of the server. If you want extremely high uptime rates and blazing fast loading speeds. The dedicated hosting option also comes with some drawbacks. Dedicated servers can cost many times more than shared hosting plans. Dedicated hosting options require technical knowledge, and demand one or more system administrators for smooth operation and maintenance. Big e-commerce websites like Amazon, social media platforms like YouTube, and other enterprise-level websites are usually the ones who use dedicated hosting options. DigitalOcean, Amazon EC2, and InMotion offer some of the best dedicated hosting plans right now. Now you know about shared and dedicated hosting options. However, these types of plans can either be managed or unmanaged. Usually, hosting plans are unmanaged, which means once you've purchased it, the responsibility for maintaining your site's performance and security falls entirely on you. On the other hand, managed hosting plans take care of managing your website for you and perform key tasks like updating and creating backups. Plus, you can find WordPress hosting options that are optimized for WordPress websites and offer one-click WordPress installation. You should go for a managed hosting plan if you want an expert to handle your website's performance and security optimizations. If you want automatic updates and frequent backups of your website. If you want staging sites to help you safely test changes and updates. If you want reliable support channels for your website. If you want server-level performance optimization so you don't have to weigh down your website with plugins. But managed hosting options have a couple of drawbacks too. They are generally more expensive than their unmanaged counterparts. They also give you lesser control over server configurations and performance optimization measures. From blogs to enterprise-level websites, any type of site can use a managed hosting plan. WP Engine, Cloudways, and Kinsta offer excellent managed hosting plans if you're looking for one.
Apart from shared and dedicated hosting, there are two other types of hosting you should know about. VPS hosting and cloud hosting. VPS hosting stands for virtual private server and stands somewhere between shared and dedicated hosting. A main server is split into multiple virtual servers. Thus, your website will have dedicated resources and will share the server with significantly fewer websites compared to a shared hosting option. In motion hosting is a great choice if you're interested in this hosting type. Cloud hosting is a hybrid version of VPS hosting and has become popular recently. With a cloud hosting option, your website works with multiple remote servers at a time, so that even if one server fails, your website won't experience downtime. Cloud hosting options are also highly scalable, which means you can pay for exactly the server resources you use. Check out SiteGround if you're looking for cloud hosting options. Links to all hosting plans mentioned in this video are in the description below. To summarize, there are five hosting options worth knowing. Shared hosting, dedicated hosting, managed hosting, VPS hosting, and cloud hosting. Pick the right one for your website and start making your mark today. Check out LearnWoo.com for more articles, videos, and resources related to WordPress and WooCommerce. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media channels. And do let us know in the comment section if you want us to cover a specific topic or if you have any ideas or suggestions.